Hello guys, good day, welcome back to my channel. Thank you sa supporters natin, especially sa mga members ng YouTube channel natin or Arts Engineering. And for those na nagla-like sa na mga videos natin and nag-share, of course. And for today's tutorial, uh, ito yung part 1 ng beam design natin. So, i-explain ko sa inyo paano ang process then method from the load distribution or load analysis up to design of the beam uh, up to the flex flexure design or the main bars of uh, also the stirrups okay the stirrups of the beam or the shear reinforcement requirement and of course it check nothing as per the code requirement uh, without further ado let's continue and start our discussion and tutorial about the design of beam part one uh, for example we have here a framing plan so one two three four one two three four five six four by six na framing plan natin then ipapakita ko sa inyo yung distribution ng load from of beam one and beam two for example sa previous na ano natin tutorial is na discuss na natin yung load analysis distribution ng slabs to beam right okay so para sa beam 1 yung blue na yan ang color blue na yan so ang i-carry na loads niya from the slab uh, 4 by 7 slab is yung load 1 yung trapezoidal na yan Whereas sa uh, load 2 naman na uh, slab, yung size natin sa 5 by 7, yung kikerin niya yung load 2 naman. So ang tanong, anong formula ng load 2 and load 1? Which is, we, also, we already uh, computed or uh, discussed from the last tutorial. Okay, then para sa beam 2 naman, of course, this is the two triangular loads ang i-carry niya. Okay? So, punta tayo dito sa load analysis. Ito yung last tutorial natin. Paano mag-distribute ng load? Then, para hindi tayo mahirapan, i-view ko na lang, then select new window para makita ko or ma-split ko yung dalawang uh, sheet sa isang workbook. Ito. Yan. Una, uh, kailangan natin dito ng load. Okay. Para sa unit weight ng concrete, let's use 25 kiloton per cubic meter. Then, gamit tayo ng 0.125 meter na thickness na slab or pwede natin sabihin 0 0.2. Then, dinagdag ko pala to sa previous tutorial natin yung beam depth. Kasi, I will consider the weight of the beam dito. Kung hindi natin yung consider, let's use 0 lang para hindi siya ma-consider. So, for the meantime, let's use 0.4. Pero before that, i-check muna natin yung beam depth. Uh, minimum beam depth as per the SCI. So, sa last tutorial din natin, nag-diniscuss na natin to. So, sa so actual na ano, na cast in situ, ano talaga siya? Both end continuous or the fixed end, guys. So, from this figure, framing plan, yung B1 natin, yung lead natin 7 meter, meters. Then, click calculate. So, meaning, at least 0.33 meters yung dapat i-provide natin. So, hindi na siya bababa dyan. Okay. So, balik tayo rito. Therefore, yung 0.4 is okay na siya sa 7 meters. Pero, hindi pa yan mag-stop kasi nga i-check natin yung deflection and i-design natin later. Okay? Then, after we imported this data, makakalculate natin yung weight of beam in terms of KPA. Yung uh, magiging 100 KPA siya kasi nga, Kung anong beam depth natin, multiply natin sa unit weight ng concrete, then bibigyan tayo ng KPA, which is surface load dyan sa mismo setup ng beam. 
Then, of course, para sa weight ng slab, that is 5 kPa, where uh, corresponding sa thickness ng slab na 0.2. Then, assuming para sa finishing, let's uh, enter a value of 2 kPa. Then, para sa MAP naman, let's use 0.5 kPa. Then, lahat ng SDL natin, or then DL natin live load is 7.5. Then, considering the level of 1 point KPA na value, then using this load combination, ito yung hanapin natin yung maximum value from this uh, computation. Kung nasa roughly ka, ito yung isama, kailan mo ito isama na load combination, then kunin mo yung maximum sa kanila. So, you can see ito yung magagovern yan. Automatically, naka-formula tayo rito. See, the maximum of this value Kaya yung value natin is 24.5 kPa. Then, it enter natin yung value. Para muna sa load 1, yung shorts pa natin is 4 meters. 4 meters, then 7 meters sa length. So, okay na yan. Yung x1 and x2 na yan, let uh, set a value of 0 para kasi yan sa cantilever. Kasi yung sample natin hindi siya cantilever, let's use a 0 value. Then makikita natin dito yung SS, short span of all the long span, ratio is 0.715. This is a more than sa 0.5. That's why two-way yung ano natin, uh, slab. So makikita natin dito sa distribution, it should be the long span, yung V1. So nakikiri siya. No? So hanapin natin dito sa value na to, saan, siya mag sa saan yung loadings natin. So from this slab type. So, tuwi tayo. Then, hanapin natin yung long span bearing. So, ito yung long span bearing natin. So, ibig sabihin, 35 kN per meter yung gagamitin nating load dito. Okay? So, enter ko lang to. This is 35.0 kN per meter yung load 1 natin. Okay? Then, para naman sa load 2. So, i-change ko lang yung short span natin kasi nag-change na Ay, 5 meters na dito. So, this is 5 meters. Same pa rin yung long span natin, 7 meters. Then, magkikare under sa long span pa rin yung bearing natin, then two-way. So, ito yun, guys. So, maging load dito is 39.38 kN per meter. Okay. Then, paano naman dito sa sa B2? So, enter lang natin ito. Yung short span natin, same din. Ah, ito, so 4 meters para sa load 3 tayo guys. 4 meters din. The length natin is 7 meters din. Kaso nga lang, dun siya mag-load mag sa short span. So, 2-way, then ito yung short span natin. This is, uh, yung load 3 natin equal siya sa uh, 24.5 kN per meter. Then, para naman sa load 4, sa load 4 naman mag-iiba guys. Kasi nga, dito na siya sa kabila, yung magiging length niya is 5 meters na, pero yung width, same pa rin 4 meters. Okay? 4 pa rin. So, pero makikita ninyo, this is 2-way pa rin. Then, punta tayo dito sa 2-way, then, siya short span na bearing. This is 24. Okay. This load 4. Okay. Okay, my loads na tayo sa dalawang beam. So ito, malaki yung tulong nito yung sa distribution na ginawa natin. Okay. Then, after that, uh, na-check na natin yung minimum dip. Analysis. Then, puna tayo dito sa share and moment and deflection checking. Although, uh, ginawa ko dito kasi only 3 points, guys. Kung mapapansin niyo dito, Ang ginawa ko kasi dito is only 3 points. 
dito sa support, sa mid span, and sa kabilang support. Kaya yung moment natin, instead na curve, ano lang siya, parang straight lang guys. Okay. Ayan. Kasi ang kailangan ko lang dito is yung maximum moment from the support and the mid span. Okay. So yun, uh, ginawa ko pala nung last 2021 pa no. <laughs> Matagal na. Okay. So kailan muna natin input yung A prime si natin, let's say 0. Uh, 20.7 megapascal. Yung length natin para sa para sa maximum mo na sa Lemax B1 para sa B1. So this is 7 meters, right? Then, titingnan natin dito yung W natin. In terms of kilonewton per meter, ipa-plus na natin yung 35.0 plus 39.38. So ito na yung maximum na na load natin, the ultimate load. Then, yung dito na tayo mag-set ng initial natin na beam. Yung ginamit natin na initial na beam is 0.4 yung depth. Then, let's use 0.25 dito. Okay. Then, unit weight na ginamit natin that is 25. Okay. Ito yung self-weight niya in terms of kilonewton per meter, then total weight. Ipa plus niya. Then, ito yung moment of inertia, centroidal. Then, ito ang uh, modulus of elasticity ng concrete. This is 4,700 square root of A prime C. So, we have here an option, yung 1 and 0. Ibig sabihin, yung 0, beam weight not included. So, kasi nga dito sa distribution natin yung load, sinama natin yung beam na yan. So, therefore, isit natin to as 0. Okay. So, kung hindi natin isit at 0 natin dito, dapat i-include natin yung 0 sa computation ng weight. Okay. Pero sa ngayon, iset ko siya as 0 kasi nga, sinama na natin doon sa load analysis. Okay. So, kung makikita natin dito yung result para sa B1, sa maximum share natin is 260.33 kN. So, pwede natin yan i-manual check. So, ito, 74.4 Times lang natin sa when, uh, length, total length, 7 meters, para maging kilonewton. Dine-divide natin sa 2 para sa uh, magkabilang support. This is 260.4. So, nakarandob kasi tayo. Ito. Ito kasi, kung titingnan natin, ano siya eh. Oh, may points pa yan, oh. Hindi talaga siya, uh, i-check natin to, i-try natin 0.38. Ayun, approximately correct siya. So, depende kasi sa number of dec decimal places. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung share natin. Para sa moment naman, ito yung maximum moment niya support, then maximum moment at mid-span. Then, yung formula natin sa fixed in mom is W squared over 12. So, W squared natin, W natin is 38, 37, 34. I mean, sorry. 74.38 times length is 7 squared over 12. 303.72, so okay, naran up natin. Ito yung maximum moment. Okay, then ito naman yung sa bottom natin. Okay, then para sa uh, deflection naman natin ito. So maximum deflection is 16.31 mm lang. Kung titingin natin sa allowable is length over 240 yung ano natin dyan. Uh, allowable ito yan eh. Uh, length natin. Nasaan yung length? Times 1,000. Para makonvert natin to millimeter, then divide 240. So, allowable natin is 29.17 mm. So, whereas yung actual deflection natin is only 60.31 mm so safe tayo dito guys so yung section natin is safe siya
And considering guys, this is only the gravity load. So sa actual design, actual analysis, dapat kasama yung wind and earthquake design. Earthquake loads. So yun. Yun lang kadali. At least meron na tayong share. Meron na tayong moment. So deflection natin, checking yan para sa analysis natin sa uh, serviceability uh, status ng uh, beam natin. Then, after this uh, tutorial, magdi-design na tayo ng beam. Design muna natin yung flexures, yung main bars, then the share reinforcement or the stirrups. Then, may checking din tayo. I-check natin yung sa deflection na. Eh, hindi lang sa formula. I-check natin doon sa actual deflection na madami yung consideration as per the code. Also, the cracking. Okay? So, for to now, uh, ito lang muna yung discuss mo na natin. No? So, tapos na tayo sa part 1. Sa so, part 2, uh, abangan na lang ninyo para sa design of uh, main bars natin. Una, i-discuss natin yung uh, singly, then next, doubly. Okay? Yun lang guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Arts Engineering. And if you want, you can subscribe and join my YouTube community para maka ng mga spreadsheets. Itong spreadsheets na to guys, libre to para sa members to. Uh, member, uh, membership level 2. Okay? Yun lang guys. Thank you and God bless.